No, they're not tracer bullets, they're golf balls under test. No top-class professional blasts these off, they were hit by the ghost golfer. Manufacturing a golf ball is an extremely complicated job. It begins with the freezing of a special composition which forms the core. And then something like 28 yards of elastic thread is wound round. Two halves of a tough protective material are placed round the ball, which then goes in a press for moulding. This process involves the use of steam, hot water and ice cold water. After many different tests, each to guarantee perfection, the golf balls are finally painted. Placed on a rotary machine, each ball gets three protective coats. But factory tests are not enough. How will the product react to field conditions? From each batch produced at this Liverpool factory, samples are sent to the testing machines. This, they call it the ghostly golfer, swings a club driven by a falling weight which gives a power equal to that of a professional golfer. These devices are used to gauge the effect of changes in design of the golf ball. Here, a smooth surface ball travels only 150 yards, less than half that of a ball with the familiar dimpled cover. Believe it or not, calculations from instruments prove that the ball leaves the ghostly golfer at a speed of about 150 miles an hour. So for the poor golfer, not hitting the ball quite right, that's just one more thing to worry about.